Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of RTH. In this episode, I want to tell you guys about the second TV of the same brand that I bought because it's so awesome. So stay tuned to this episode as I talk about that and why I bought it. Coming now on a episode of RTHD. <music> So you could just see how small this TV is. I believe it's 32, but compare that to what you're gonna see here. And as you can see, this is actually what I was living with for the last uh, year or two, having to watch that really, really small screen. And as I can imagine, it's, it's, it's been terrorizing me for a very, very long time. So uh, let's see what the difference will look like. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is me adding the TV. As you can see, it looks a lot bigger but it's still is there's still a lot of space up there but I guarantee you that it is about twice as large as what I had so it's gonna be fairly decent to be able to see from there hey guys okay so I'm back um so yeah I was uh I decided to buy another TV like the one I had which is actually the JVC 50 inch TV um to now put in my bedroom and the reason for that is because I don't know if you could see this but if I just swing around here you will actually see the size and of course that's the JVC TV right on the bottom there. That's the size of my TV right now guys. Uh, it's really really hard to point but that's the size of the TV right now that I have and that's as you can see it's really really small from my bed area that is like super super small. I mean it's like it's like it's like so small that uh, it, it, in a way it irritates me a lot of the time. So I decided um, to get another TV at some point in time and it was all based of course on price because uh, initially when I bought my first JVC, it was on a Black Friday deal and I actually got it for a little bit less than 500 US dollars. It was about 3000 TT dollars, which is actually less than 500 US dollars. So that was good, especially because in Trinidad, you know, we have to pay import tax and all these different things in order to get um, a product in. Well, it so happens that I was, uh, thanks be to God, lucky enough to be able to um, get another deal on the same JVC TV and um, I was so excited and in fact I'm extremely excited right now because I'm finally moving over from this this was probably like a 28 or a 32 inch TV to finally a 50 inch TV which makes a whole world of a difference I'm looking at the, at the TV right now um, so just so that you guys know the JVC TV is considered a smart TV but I have to let you know it only does YouTube and Netflix and so I consider it to be semi-dumb, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, but it's nevertheless, you know, this TV works really, really well. If you have, like, of course, a Fire Stick to add on to it or a Chromecast like I have. Um, that would be sh pretty much enough in my circumstance and maybe hopefully your circumstance as well um, to make the TV smart enough. So with that being said, guys, I actually got this one for a little bit more expensive than the last time. On the Black Friday sale, those TVs sold out within a few hours, maybe like two hours or maybe maybe three hours. And that was because it was 3,000 and you can't actually get a TV for that price, usually in Trinidad for that price, a 50 inch, of course, for that price. Um, well, I was able to get this one. It so happened that within this week that a few, I guess they were not remainders, but a few came in and they were selling it for $3,100. Now, $3,100 is still probably a little bit less than uh, 500 USD. So that is an excellent price locally here. Of course, I, mean, I know that in the US, you know, in, you could find TVs for cheaper and so forth. But this is a JVC brand, it's a fairly decent brand. It's not as supposedly as good as a Samsung. It's not as smart as the Samsung. But this is a TV that works so well for me currently that I decided to buy two. And um, I wanted to mention that this TV actually does come with a built-in type Chromecast, but it isn't a full-fledged Chromecast. And you might be wondering what I mean from that. So it is smart to some degree. You can actually cast uh, your YouTube app if you have it on your phone directly to the TV. And there is a, 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 a cast device that pops up that allows you to cast there. However, it's limited. You cannot cast every single different type of app. You can only cast Netflix and YouTube to the TV. So with that being said, guys, if you are on a budget, I think this is a pretty good TV to purchase for that reason. If you want something with different apps and games and so forth, I would not recommend this TV, but it will do exactly what I want it to do. And in the process, if you were to compare the price of this JVC TV, which is also a 4K UHD TV at 60 Hertz, compared to something like a Samsung 
equivalent around that price you will notice that the price of the samsung is going to be at least a thousand thirty dollars more um so this is a decent deal for an economical price and for being able to do the basics this is a fairly decent deal for most people so with that being said guys i just created this video um just to you know talk about this uh this this tv and i'm not just talking about this tv because um it's something that people are googling up it's actually because i actually have one and no actually i don't have one i have two um so with that being said guys of course you can have a look at the other video where i actually did the unboxing so far because there's not really much unboxing the nice thing as well <laughs> i probably should mention since already you're already on this video is that um it comes with usb ports that are powered as well um so you can actually use the uh you have <laughs> usb ports to power you can use the usb ports i believe too for like photos and video as well too and uh, it also comes with <laughs> built-in wi-fi <laughs> the apps as i said um netflix and youtube and there's also RJ45 uh, cable that you could plug directly into the TV as well too in the ports. So that's kind of pretty good. It comes with most of the features that we need. I would suggest though that with any LED TV that you have or any flat screen TV that you have, do not put the backlight up to 100%. Always keep it lower than that uh, because especially these LED lights, they tend to blow after a period of time. So the brighter they are, they tend to use up the, you know, whatever life it is. And uh, it's sometimes tough to change those LED strips by yourself and you need to get other people and so forth. So that being said, guys, you know, I haven't um, been on for very long, but thank you so much for viewing. And uh, if you have any questions about the JVC, if you have any questions about TVs, maybe it might be something that I might be able to answer as well too. Um, but with that being said, guys, thank you so much for viewing and stay tuned to another episode of RTHD coming to a YouTube screen near you. Bye.